My first experience with teaching was during high school. I trained students for the yearbook staff, and I also taught a unit about the kidney during AP Biology, junior year. At UCSD, I spent my time walking through the maze of buildings while studying math and cognitive science. One day, I stumbled upon a flyer for California Teach, a science and math teaching initiative. I ended up signing up, one of six people in the first year, not knowing what really would happen. Through CalTeach, I learned all the math I needed to know to become an effective and well-qualified teacher through Kershawn Perel, professor in the UCSD Mathematics Department. I even ended up on UCSD TV, the alumni magazine, and the San Diego Union Tribune about the California Teach program. This led to working with EDS and completing a mathematics education minor, a new program for prospective math teachers who were math majors. EDS taught me everything I needed to run an effective classroom. After three years of observing, apprentice teaching, and reflecting about everything I saw in different classrooms, it was my time to become a full teacher of record. After an intensive summer of preparation to be an intern teacher, there I was, ready to teach on the first day of school. Only, I was at home waiting. I didn't get called to report to teach until the second day of school. I was placed as an intern teacher for... Algebra? Freshmen? Special education students? A non-air-conditioned classroom? And it's over 90 degrees outside? I thought, this could only lead to one thing. It never turned out that badly, but the first few months were shaky at best. Keeping up with a growing mountain of papers, fan conferences, administrative duties, and UCSD work was overwhelming to say the least. Furthermore, I was being pointed in so many different directions and so many people telling me what was best for my students. I struggled as I tried to find a way to mesh together all the different advice and methods I was being told to implement. This was until two wise math intern supervisors told me, as your student teacher, you know what is best for them and you need to do what works for you and your students. I took that advice, and after a while, the kinks of being a new teacher smoothed out. My classroom looked and behaved completely differently from how it did in the first few shaky months of school. I gained more control. My students were doing their work, and I was able to be an effective teacher for the most part. My students even scored better than district averages on the required benchmark. I made it through PACS, but it left my living room looking like a tornado pathway after math. And throughout the last week of school, I built stronger rapport with my students, conference with parents, and even inquired about introducing technology into my classroom. Everything was going really well. That is, until my immune system gave in to an onslaught of student germ, leaving me weak and tired during the last couple of weeks of school. Education studies warn that teaching math is a challenge only for those willing to spend a majority of 10 months of every year doing everything for their students. However, with the experiences from an atypical school year, I recognized how prepared I was to begin teaching and how much more there is to learn about tackling the challenge of teaching math. 